The oldest piece of advice is to graduate from school, acquire a job, work hard, save money, and get out of debt. Thus, the difference between the 1% and the 99% is enormous. You must take a step back and consider the wider picture since it's not just about the money. What do you do then? There is a poor guy among us all. There are those from the middle class as well, and they desire stability in their financial situation, and a wealthy individual, and we all possess them, with the exception that they are not taught. You learn to attend school, look for a job, and earn a salary. We are not taught how to get rich. In school, we are not taught how to get rich, money or financial education was not even discussed. Also, we are taught not to make mistakes, hence when we grow up, we are afraid of committing mistakes instead of celebrating them as it is how we learn and discover to be better. They ended up not knowing what to do in a financial crisis and they tend to say it's too much risk. You already know that the higher the risk, the more you must study, so if you're not going to study, you're not going to practice how to do it. If you've read Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki's rich dad refused to pay him. He claimed that receiving a paycheck was one of the worst things you could ever experience. According to him, the moment you accept the paycheck, you become an employee. His wealthy dad never gave him money. His poor father, however, who works for the government, was driven insane by it. You must pay your employees. Rich Dad claims he didn't want young Robert to be a slave of money. Therefore, as an entrepreneur, if Rich Dad failed, he would just try another company. He doesn't require a salary. He doesn't require someone to look after him. If I'm not liked by my government, I'll leave for another because they need business people there. Therefore, the entrepreneur is mostly the mindset, skill set, and a unique set of rules. Poor people say, I can't afford it that I don't have time, and it's just a way to get away. It's an escape, but why do so many people do it? It's the easiest thing to do. I can't afford it. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, I can't go to the gym, you know. When you know you could go to the gym. No, I can't. The truth is, I'm just too lazy to go. Did you know when you play it safe and you don't introduce new risks into your life, Instead, ask, how can I afford it? How can I save time? Entrepreneurship is firstly a mindset, followed by a skill set and a set of rules. And the rules differ depending on whether you're an employee or a small business owner, as do the mindsets and skill sets. What would you tell someone who has never been an entrepreneur and is considering taking the leap of faith to become an entrepreneur? So, I'll just tell them exactly what happened to me. Robert Kiyosaki said in one of his interviews. Robert told his personal story. You know, my last paycheck, I still remember it vividly. It was one of the worst and best days of my life, and I was in Puerto Rico. I was working for Xerox and my boss gave me my last. It wasn't a paycheck, it was a bonus check, and I believe it was around $30,000 taxable, and that's the only problem with that. So I got the check and I said, Holy mackerel! So you know, I was excited, but I was also disturbed. So this other guy comes up to me, his name was John, and he says to me, you're going to be back. Why? I asked, and he replied, because you're going to fail. Because that's what he did, he left Xerox, failed, and then returned. I replied as I turned to face him, look, you failed and returned, but I'm going to fail and I'm never returning. Robert remarked, and that's the mindset. Robert Toru Kiyosaki was born in Hilo, Hawaii Territory in 1947. Robert's first book, If You Want to Be Rich and Happy, Don't Go to School, was released in 1993. In his book, he encourages parents to avoid sending their children to college and instead invest in real estate. Kiyosaki established Cashflow Technologies, Inc a business and financial education firm that owns and operates the Rich Dad and Cashflow brands in 1997. Kiyosaki's financial and business teachings center on what he refers to as financial education, generating passive income through business and investment opportunities such as real estate investments, businesses, stocks, and commodities 
to be able to support oneself solely through such investments and thus achieve financial independence. Robert continued his story. Do you understand what I mean? Well, if you say, well, if I fail, I'll go back to mummy and daddy, you'll do just that. So, when I fail, that's when I decided to become an entrepreneur because I didn't have any money. For years, I had no money. Yes, I was without a paycheck, but that's what my rich father encouraged me to do. Rich Dad claims that when you don't have this paycheck, you become hungrier and smarter. And it's a test of your character to see if you'll become a thief. Will you turn dishonest? Will you defraud and steal? Or will you grow into a better person? So in essence, discovering who you are when you have nothing is the value of starting your own business. As a result, you must always consider the big picture. How will I fare? is a question that far too many people ask. When you consider the larger picture, you'll also see that even awful things eventually lead to positive outcomes. The book Rich Dad Poor Dad has sold over 44 million copies in over 51 languages in over 109 countries, has been on the New York Times bestseller list for over six years, launched a series of books and related products, and has received positive reviews from most critics. True entrepreneurs, whether they fail or go, can always go up. They can get back up and go even higher. That no matter what happened to them, they become stronger, better, smarter, and happier. However, a person with a poor internal mindset is that they are so afraid of what will happen or what will happen next. If you reach this far in the video, thank you. Please let us know what you think of this video, share it with your loved ones that may benefit from hearing it. People who are afraid of losing their jobs, for example, tend to lose their jobs. Yes, without a doubt, everything goes through you. So the entrepreneur's first job is to control what is inside, not what is outside. You must be stronger than that. It's all about internal control. Tap the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss another one of our amazing videos. Until next time, take care.